All right, so in this video, we're going to continue on with our name badge holder pro project. And in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to take these five shapes that we created in the last video, and we're going to position them together. And essentially, by the end of this video, we should have something that looks just like this. All right, so let's take a look at the first steps. So you can see, first of all, um, we're going to have a hole in the front of this. We have the body here, and we have the card slot hole that goes right up here. In the front, we're going to put that uh, wedge. And then finally, we're going to position, the most difficult part is probably positioning this piece right here. All right, so let's do this. We're going to go, and uh, first things first, the good news is you can just slide this somewhere on there. Since that's the main body, everything else is going to be built around that, so you can put that wherever you like. For this video, I'm going to highly recommend that you switch, if you're not already on it, you need to switch to the 1.0 grid. So you can go down here and do that if you're not on that already. Okay, so let's go to the next part. So what we're going to do first is we're going to position this card slot. We're going to need to make this into a hole. We're going to need to make this one into a hole, and this one's already a hole. See, these two pieces here add to the shape. That's why they have a color assigned to them. We don't care what the color is, because the only color that matters, essentially, is what color I put into the 3D printer, uh, what, what color plastic that is. All right, so I'm going to take this piece, and let's get started. What you need to do for this video is you need to grab two of these at a time. I highly recommend, for future purposes, click on one, hold down Shift, and then click on the other. See how I'm selecting two? Now the computer knows that I'm talking about two of them. So and that, that whatever I do, I want to do to those two objects. So I'm going to go up here to this menu, and I'm going to adjust. What adjust does is it helps us line up shapes in an exact way. You can either line them up by their outside edges, left or right, or right in the middle. OK, so we're going to go to adjust, and we're going to align. Now, let's think about where we need this. This card slot needs to be right in the middle across this direction. It needs to be right in the middle across this small six millimeter direction. But going up and down, our card cutout box needs to be flush with this top. Let's take a look at that on this drawing. If you look at the shape here in the middle, you notice how it's aligned up in the middle this way, this way, but going up and down vertically, it's aligned with the very top. It's right even. And there's a good reason for that. If we didn't do that, there would be no, no hole at the top to slide the card in. So it's got to go all the way up to the top. So let's go ahead and do that. So I've done the align tool. I've grabbed them both. I clicked adjust align. And now what I need to do is click the red shape so that the computer knows that I want the red shape to stay still because that's the main body. And then I'm going to go middle in this direction. You really got to zoom in for this one. Middle in this direction. And whoa, it disappeared, right? It's because it's all the way inside of this other shape. If you want to really see it, you can see it's lined up at the bottom here. And then I need to line it up at the top so that the cutout goes all the way to the top. So we have middle, middle, and top here. You see these three dots? If you want to go to the top, middle, or lined up at the bottom. And then I just go dismiss this align tool. And there it is. Now, if you want to see this in a preview, you don't need to do this, but you can group it together. Grab them both and group them. And look at that. Now we have a little slot for our card holder. So that's where the card, the ID card is going to go. I'm going to ungroup those, and we're going to go and do the next piece. Now this piece here, so you can see the problem is even when I had that uh, grouped together, you can't see the card. I mean, you could put it in there, and it would hold the card OK, but it, you know, no one could see it. And the whole point of ID badge, ID stands for identification, so people can see this and identify who's wearing it. So we need to just, uh, I'm going to ungroup that, and let's get this other piece together uh, up in the front there. And this is our view hole. Now let's think about what this needs to be. We have this lined up. It goes all the way up to the top. It cuts the shape out to the top. It's in the middle, but it's actually lined up with the front edge. So let's go ahead and do this. So I'm going to go click the red shape, hold down Shift, and click this other shape, my view hole cutout. And I'm going to go to Adjust. Align. Now let's think about it. We need it. We're going to click the red shape to make it hold still. I need to put this right in the middle as far as left and right goes. As far as the front and back goes, I need it lined up with the front edge. Again, if this was right in the middle, you wouldn't be able to see anything. It wouldn't cut it out. So the front edge. So it's middle here, 
front edge here and then I need it all the way up to the top up and down and so now we have that lined up just right so this is a good time to preview it grab it all group it let's take a look and see what it looks like hey that looks great you can see that just like the finished product you have a slot here now again we don't have the rounded quarters yet but we have the slot and we can see the name badge so right now if you just wanted something that hold it held the name badge it'd be kind of boring but you could print this and you could slide a name badge in there but you wouldn't be able to pin it to your shirt very easily okay this next one's real easy let's get that out of the way I'm not even going to use the align tool for this just you can if you have the one millimeter grid on and you haven't moved things around too much you should be able to just put this on here this needs to go flush now flush means up against and touching but not going through and also flush means there's no space in the middle see that there's a space I'm using the arrow keys to click that and get it exactly where I like. Look here, make sure it's lined up left and right. Should be even with this surface vertically. You shouldn't have to lift that up and down at all. Okay, so now I have that piece. The last piece is a little bit more difficult. So here's the strategy we're going to use here. We're going to move this, uh, this last piece, which is the badge hole cutout. Now, little note. I made this one too big. So in the video, we're correcting that. I made 20 millimeters for the rectangle in this. It should have been 10. I made a mistake the first time when I made this, but it's good enough to show for the video. What we're going to do is we're going to take this piece and we're going to click. Um, actually, I'm going to just ungroup that again. And I'm going to click this and hold down shift and click the red part. And now I have both of those and we're going to adjust a line. Now watch what we're going to do is we're going to actually the strategy we're going to use is we're going to position this hole all the way flush with the top and then we're going to drag it down four millimeters because that's what it needs to be. So click the red box to make sure that doesn't move. And we're going to go to the middle here. To the middle in this dimension, front and back, and then we're going to go all the way up to the top here. Now, earlier, when I'm, I changed my mind in the other video and said you should make this thing 8 millimeters tall, the reason is, is if it's not 8 millimeters tall, it won't stick out. And for this step, you need to click it to select it. So to do that, just click this little corner that, or this edge that's hanging out there. And that's why we did that. That's why we made it 8 millimeters tall. Because remember, a hole, it doesn't matter if it goes too far. It just needs to cut through all the shape that we need it to. So I'm going to grab this thing, this little badge holder hole. And I'm going to move it down. Now watch what happens. When I click this arrow here, we grab it and we move it down. One, two, three, four. It says negative four because we are going downwards in the down direction there. All right, perfect. Now that's, that's the conclusion of this video. But before we go, let's take a look and see what this thing looks like. So right now, if you didn't want anything on the front, you wanted a really boring... Uh, badge holder that had sharp corners and would snag on your shirt and stuff and, and that's why we're going to fix that later but you could actually print this right now and this would be a workable usable badge holder but it would be extremely boring so in the next video we're going to add some style to it by uh, chamfering and filleting some of the edges which means kind of rounding them off and cutting off some of these sharp edges that stick out in our project and then the final video we're going to add uh, add some of the text and the imported STL file that you modified from umagine.com.